solve the differential equation. So we got in differential form x square plus y square dx plus x square minus xy dy equals zero. Let's write this in derivative form. I mean dy over dx like dy over dx equals something. Okay. So here is dx. Let's move this term to the other side. So subtract this term from both sides. So we got x squared minus xy dy equals subtract. So minus x squared plus y squared dx. Okay, let me erase this. Now divide by this. So and then divide by dx as well. So we have dy over dx equals negative x squared plus y squared all divided by x squared minus xy. Okay. Now this differential equation, uh, this was not separable from the very beginning because this term got xy and we got x squared dy. I mean, we don't know how to integrate x squared in terms of dy. So it is not separable. This is first order because we got first derivative here. Look at the degrees on the top and bottom. This is 2, 2. So x squared 2, x1, y1, 2. So the degree on the top and bottom are the same. So homogeneous. Okay, I mean this differential equation is now homogeneous. Uh, so for the differential equations we can make a substitution and this one turns out to be a separable afterwards okay so what we have to do is now we're gonna substitute y equals vx I mean this this works when we learned that the degree on the top and the degree on the bottom are same Okay, so and that's the sort of homogeneous. Okay, and then this substitution works. So with this, uh, let y be vx. So we are trying to convert the whole differential equation in terms of new variable v and x. So we replace y throughout by vx. Okay, then dy over dx is the derivative of y. y is vx by the way. minus x square plus y square is v square x square all over x square minus x times vx. Here v is a function of x. I mean that's what the case and now we need to find the derivative. So here is a product so we must use the product rule of derivative. So we leave first alone times derivative of x with respect to x, which is one plus second alone, take the derivative of first dv over dx, okay? Equals in the right hand side, let's simplify here a little bit. On the top, minus the, on the top, we can factor x square out so that leaves 1 plus v square on the bottom x square out 1 minus v and x square cancel okay so we are left with minus in the front 1 plus v square over 1 minus v okay now the next thing we need to separate the variables this is function of v in the right side and here is v. So subtract v from both sides. That leaves x dv over dx equals. Let me take care of this negative. It's bothering me. Negative, let's distribute on the bottom. So we got 1 plus v square. So negative 1 plus v. So v plus 1. My bad. Negative 1 plus v. v minus 1. And we are subtracting this term v. Now let's combine these two terms. So 1 plus v square over v minus 1 minus v. 
so the common denominator v minus 1 so 1 plus v square minus distribute v square plus v cancels 1 plus v over v minus 1 so this one is ax dv over dx 1 plus v over v minus 1 now this is separable we can separate the variables uh, v some function of v and dv in the left side some function of x dx in the right side so this x times so we move to the right side so 1 over x and dx goes to the top here when we bring this fraction to the left side okay uh, that means v minus 1 on the bottom goes to top and 1 plus v it's kind of cross multiplying okay now this is separable now we can integrate both sides let's integrate okay so let me work here because I got room over here okay so let me erase this and okay okay right hand side uh, this is natural log of x okay this one is not easy v minus 1 over 1 plus v this is a rational function polynomial over polynomial so partial fraction decomposition we can do that but this one looks simpler uh, so v minus 1 on the top let, let me do some work here v minus 1 over 1 plus v okay 1 plus v so v this is v plus 1 right on the bottom we can think like v plus 1 uh, here is v I want to write plus 1 okay but I had to get negative 2 so plus 1 just to match with the bottom minus 2 okay v plus 1 minus 2 is essentially v minus 1 so this is fine now I can write into two fractions v plus 1 over v plus 1 minus 2 over v plus 1 and this one is v plus 1 over v plus 1 is 1 I mean, that's why we wrote v plus 1 minus 2 over v plus 1 okay derivative of v plus 1 is 1 and we have 1 there because 2 is 2 times 1 oh now we can integrate okay so with that work uh, let me continue here So this one, I can rewrite this as 1 minus 2 over v plus 1 dv is equal to, this is already good, natural log of x, and we get two constants, so let's write this one. Now we can integrate antiderivative of 1 with respect to v is just v minus 2 times 1 over v plus 1 okay that's like 1 over x plus 1 dx derivative of bottom is top so just natural log of x plus 1 so we got this one is 2 times natural log of v plus 1 plus c we just combined there equals natural log of x plus c oh we are done now we need to back substitute the value of v when we assume y equals vx then v is what y over x so we need to write v is y over x okay so that is in fact y over x minus 2 natural log of y over x plus 1 equals natural log of x plus c solving for y is almost impossible okay because here uh, it's possible but not the scope here so let's not bother solving for y and this is the solution uh, in implicit form okay final